And now, speaking of not listening, <laughs> my husband, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Sheldon. Well, did you finish? Great job. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Fowler. I have a very long and somewhat self-centered speech here, but I'd like to set it aside. Yeah. Because this honor doesn't just belong to me. I wouldn't be up here if it weren't for some very important people in my life, beginning with my mother, father, Mima, brother and sister, and my other family, who I'm so happy to have here with us. Is that Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I was under a misapprehension that my accomplishments were mine alone. Nothing could be further from the truth. I have been encouraged, sustained, inspired, and tolerated not only by my wife, but by the greatest group of friends anyone ever had. I'd like to ask them to stand. Dr. Rajesh Kuthrapali. Dr. Bernadette Rostenkowski Wallowitz. Astronaut Howard Wallowitz. And my two dearest friends in the world, Penny Hofstadter. and Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. I was there the moment Leonard and Penny met. He said to me that their babies would be smart and beautiful. And now that they're expecting, I have no doubt that that will be the case. Thanks, Sheldon. I, I haven't told my parents yet, but thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't tell anyone that last thing, that's a secret. <laughs> Howard, Bernadette, Raj, Penny, Leonard. I apologize if I haven't been the friend you deserve, but I want you to know, in my way, I love you all. And I love you. Thank you. Thank you.